sleep and just sleep. So that 
is almost like I mean less than 20%, 15%. So big task ahead, but I am sure the department will come up to it. And uh, many things actually happen when you are in the virtuous cycle. So I feel that today, soil and conservation department is in a virtuous cycle. Where you have the facilities coming, you are getting the support of the government of India, you have a team of very dedicated officers, you have a very dynamic minister who is personally leading from the front, and you have the people in the government the secretary, the APC, who are all supporting. So with this kind of support, the morale of the department also has to be very high. I'm sure it is at its zenith at present. And with that momentum, it is possible to achieve so-called difficult targets also. We know soil and water conservation department has been a very old department. Many activities have happened in the past also. But particularly this testing of soil, you know, which is a very basic thing. Uh, we took so many years. More than 50 years, apparently, we could not do anything in soil testing. We only had, I think, one or two labs. And uh, that was not sufficient. But now you are saturating the book, which is a matter of great satisfaction. So I am very happy. I just want to convey my appreciation to the department. Uh, as you know, a lot of good things are happening. And there is very strong focus of the central government also on agriculture and allied activities. And particularly in the Northeast. So, we talk about digital agriculture these days. Now, digital agriculture, as a common man, as a layman, my understanding is that I have the data about the soil and I have the data about the climatic conditions and I have the data about the cropping patterns over the years. And I have the data of all the production that has happened over the years. And I have the data about, you know, demand also, consumption patterns. All these things, when they are brought together, then I can very easily predict what kind of product is suitable for which kind of plot. And I can guide the farmer that, okay, for this season, you should go for this, 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 this crop, which will give you the best price. Now we have to reach that level. And for that, the technology is available, the data is now being gathered, and a lot of it has already been collected. The moment we have this soil testing done of all the plots, I'm sure it will add a very major layer to the entire mapping exercise that is being planned. And uh, the life of the farmer will definitely become better. We might be able to realize the promise that uh, the farmer's income will be greatly increased and uh, they will be greatly protected from the fluctuations of price and uh, you know other uh, weather related issues. So, in my view, I think we are moving in the right direction. Now the major challenge is to make proper utilization of these resources that are being made available. I know maybe the department will struggle for some time in uh, locating the funds or creating the infrastructure, but I'm sure the state government will also extend a helping hand and uh, we should be able to provide the money for the infrastructure at the basic level. That is one way of doing it. The other issue is about uh, 
continuing to utilize the facilities in many departments unfortunately our interest ceases after we install the uh, facility i would say that i just want to say that when the soil testing laboratory soil comes into my mind i used to recollect my those days when we started um, one association that was called small tree growers association in Greece. When, the, when we were supposed to have association, we had to register all the tea guys in this drug, this tea, small tea, drug tea board. So when they gave us a list, there were a lot of documents we had to produce, but one very important was soil test, soil health card, and soil testing card. That was the main thing. So that time, when we went around to very, 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 very test ourselves, it was only in the city of Sansa, where they had this soil testing lab to be tested here. And after that, when I became the Minister of Soil and Water Conservation and Geology Mining, the Geology Mining too, that was, I was a lay member. When it came to my soil, I was thinking that this Peter Soil Department, why Soil Department is not paying care of the soil health management and other related things? So when I asked the officer, they said, yes, we agree. If it's between the world's point of every soil department. So at one point of time, I was in Delhi, and at that point of time, Chief Minister, or if he was, he was in Delhi. So we had a very casual discussion in the boundary in Delhi. So I told him, sir, at the soil department, we should merge with the agreed department. So that only the agreed department, there should be only one division for soil department, or for soil division with the agreed department. Ajitu, Department of Soil and Water Conservation, the Aginez, I mean, Tinta mobile soil testing laboratory Tanya de Aji Kua Kurije, inaugurate Kurije, Arana Vine, it a decaze, it do soil testing laboratory under which you will do generator powered as a or AC can lavi a barra decaze. I mean, Bitori Kiki as it to Janulegane, it a amena divi to mobile soil testing laboratory Bonala company under which you will octopus company as it was a or octopus company la CEO do it a man a bitori decaze. So it a man walk through it a tour it a chudic a jaw or a explain good wo, a kiki was a so ma'am, can you please explain us explain to us uh, like how it works inside? So this is basically a mobile uh, soil testing laboratory. Uh, the uh, requirement of the department was that they want to go to the farmers for uh, to get the soil tests done at their doorsteps. So now we have tried to incorporate, though this is a very complex process because there are a lot of sophisticated instruments, but our team has done in a, a very uh, uh, different way and uh, some innovative ways have been uh, incorporated in getting all the instruments set in a static manner. So I'll just uh, uh, take you through this a little, uh, little bit. Uh, actually, what we have tried to do is first the people who are going to work in the lab, so they should be comfortable. We have taken care of their personal protective equipment, goggles, aprons, gloves, everything is there. Then all the do's and don'ts, what they're supposed to do in the laboratory and what they're not supposed to do. Then we have given some safety rules. Uh, if some chem chemical burns are happening, so that has to that has given fire extinguisher because this is a movable van, so chances of fire are there. So we have put a fire extinguisher and how to operate that fire extinguisher. That is one part of it. In addition to that, the chemical details we have given. So the different pra parameters which are going to get tested in this laboratory are micronutrients as well as macronutrients. So I'll take you th th from the first. So this is a pH meter wherein you uh, test the uh, acidity and alkalinity of the uh, soil. Then we have electric conductivity meter. Then we have spectrophotometer. We have flame photometer for different parameters to get tested. Then we have AS which tests the micronutrients of the soil it is attached with a uh, uh, laptop and a printer wherein you can immediately give the report to the farmer so the whole process how it goes is that uh, there are different equipments wherein they can uh, uh, like uh, make the soil in a finer particles so mortar and pestle is there then they have to uh, there's a rotary shaker so they'll shake uh, the things in the, into that so rotary shaker is there and after that, the soil comes for uh, this thing, pH meter, EC meter. It gets weighed first after weighing. So it will go into this. So these are two uh, weighing balances. One is precision balance, another is analytical ba balance. So once uh, uh, this weighing is complete, so they will check the uh, this thing, pH. They'll check EC. They'll check the nitrogen, phos uh, this phosphorus, sulfate, and then micronutrients from the AS. 
what we have tried to do uh, in this lab is to make things very easy uh, for the whole team so everything is labeled everything is labeled whether it is a glassware it is plasticware or it are uh, or it is chemicals so everything is labeled you can see so everything has been fitted in such a way so that when the van moves also nothing is going to move this vehicle has come from 3500 kilometers from baroda but nothing has moved uh, uh, like not even a single pipette or uh, this thing has moved so this is the way we have done it and in addition to that we have tried to give them the different locks so that when once the movement happens it's not going to move here and there so this is an oven wherein they are supposed to dry the soil samples first and then start processing so again the whole thing is uh, labeled here all this uh, so these are the fittings of our uh, different glassware so then it goes into a lock then these are the set of beakers the best quality beakers which are available in the market that we have tried to provide so these are conical flasks and this is what the mortar pestle in this uh, they are supposed to grind the soil and make into a finer particles and after that they can start the testing of it motion top jee and neet coaching institute of kota is now in dimapur faculty study materials and test series from kota directly now students from nagaland can raise their preparation level right here in dimapur admissions open now